Judaism starts like every other religion on the planet. You open up the Torah and it says, God spoke to one man, Abraham. Sure. A generation later, he speaks to, coincidentally, Abraham's son, Isaac. Uh Uh-huh, family business. (laughs) One generation later, Jacob. Do you see how suspicious this is? Now, of course, if you mention this to an Orthodox Jew, immediately, the Orthodox Jew will object and say, no, you're reading the wrong part of the book. Flip to the second book, the book of Exodus, where there you see a story about how three million people escape Egypt, they make it to Mount Sinai, and there God appears and he speaks to three million people. Now that is impressive. Three million people, what are the odds that three million people would have all conspired, told a lie about a mass revelation, and no one in that entire generation would have confessed and said, we made it all up? What are the odds? An Orthodox Jew will tell you. And if you try this in a university classroom, they will laugh you out of the room. They will ask the most obvious question on the planet. Tell me something. How do you know that God spoke to three million people? Well, it says so in the Torah. Well, who wrote the Torah? According to the latest technology, what they're teaching today in most universities across the planet, the Torah is written by four men, J, E, P, and D, redacted by a woman called R. What happened was the redactor, or some friend of the redactor, passed this book off on some unsuspecting group of cult followers, told them, look, God spoke to all of you, all of your ancestors, God spoke to you, and here's the story, three million people heard God speak. The cult leader was incredibly charismatic. The cult followers were wild-eyed and desperate. There was mass hysteria, perhaps some natural phenomenon, and they all bought it. And it's very easy to understand how Judaism could get started. A charismatic cult leader tells people a story about three million people hearing God speak, and the mythology is accepted, and the thing is up and running. And at that point, the credibility of Judaism is reduced to absolutely zero. We are just like every other religion on the planet. One person told a story. And that story was bought hook, line, and sinker. 